Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to enable all check constraints uh, in SQL Server database. Uh. So in the last video, I showed you how to generate the skips uh, to disable all the check constraints. Uh. Here, uh, we are going to enable them. Uh. And the scenario we discussed uh, in a situation uh, where uh, we have to load uh, a lot of data, maybe from uh, for ETL process or maybe one time data, and we don't want to implement uh, the check constraint uh, validation. Uh. We want to disable it for that data load. We say, okay, fine, doesn't matter. Whatever is coming, we want to load that as it is. So we want to disable, we did it last time. And here, once the data load is done, we want to re-enable the check constraints. So we can use the same table, sys.checkConstraints. This is a system view we can use. And we are filtering, saying, where is the disabled one? So we are only getting a the constraints which are already disabled and here we are using different functions such as db name this will return us a database name and we are using a schema name and it accepts a schema id as input and that's coming from sys dot check constraints table so it will return us a schema name then we are using object name it will return us the object name and it accepts the object id so in our case we have parent object id that's our table id and it will return us the table name. Then we have the definition of the constraint. And here I am building a static values. So I'm building kind of query by myself by using these values. For the enable the constraint for to enable a check constraint, we need something like this alter table. And we need the database, uh, sorry, schema name. Then we need the table name. And then we have to say check constraint and provide the name of the constraint. So that's how we will generate this query for all of the uh, check constraints which are disabled. So let's go ahead and execute. Now you see that this is the part I was talking about. We have a DB name, we have table schema, we have table name and definition. And this is the alter script that will enable the check constraints. If you are not interested to enable all of them, you can remove whichever you don't want and run the rest of them. And in my case, I'm okay to run all of them. So this is a script we have to say alter table. And then you have schema, you have table, and you have a check constraint keyword, and you have to provide the constraint name. And this will enable your check constraints. Uh, constraint. This uh, script can be um, written by uh, uh, manually. You can uh, write for, for each of the constraint by yourself. But uh, if we use this one, if in cases where we have a lot of uh, um constant check constraints uh, it will be easy and quick way to generate these uh, check uh, enable check uh, constraint uh, scripts uh, so once go ahead and run it they are completed successfully let's rerun this query and this time we should not get any uh, records because all of those uh, check constraints are enabled now and this will only return us uh, where they are disabled uh, so I hope you learned something out of this and you can make use of these uh, kind of how to disable all the script uh, check constraint, how to enable uh, all the check constraint and generating scripts by using uh, system views and system uh, tables. So I, uh, I will see you guys in the next video.